Well, at six, there are big plans tonight for Miami's iconic Marine Stadium. The stadium, which was the scene of concerts and many major events over the years, has been shut down for decades. But that may finally change. CBS 4's Marianne Martinez has the details. For the first time in 20 years, the hurricane damaged seats at the Miami Marine Stadium could soon be filled with spectators. The 2016 and 2017 Miami International Boat Shows plan to call the Miami Marine Stadium, not the Miami Beach Convention Center, home. Tremendous thrill. I mean, you know, it was like, I forgot whether we will we yell in English or in Spanish? I forgot. <laughs> Probably in both. Hilario Candela is the man who built the Marine Stadium. He was around for the glory days when boat races and performers like Jimmy Buffett filled the seats. He's also been around to watch the venue, a favorite of graffiti artists, fall into disrepair and even survive Hurricane Andrew. You bring back a lot of uh, dreams and a lot of aspiration of a lot of people in Miami. These renderings show what the stadium will look like. It's in desperate need of restoration. But we are essentially restoring this so that it will look more beautiful than it ever did, but pay homage to how it did the first day that it opened. But it will take an estimated $30 million. So we have commitments in excess of 10 to $12 million. Okay, so that really means we have about half the money committed. The Friends of the Marina say they need public support and funding to seal the deal. The city of Miami will not grant a lease unless the money is there. At this point, there is no commitment to commit dollars of the city. It is a plan where it is going to be self-sufficient. The Friends of the Marine Stadium still have to clear a few more hurdles before they can convince the city to hand over the keys and a lease on December 11th. In Key Biscayne, Marianne Martinez, CBS 4 News.